we're going to replace a rapture disc or a rupture disc, a burst disc, whatever you want to call it. Um, the other day I posted something online. This was in here. It came this way from Pressure Pro. This is an eight gallon a minute uh, hot water skid. And apparently the unloader, even though this one is only about a month and a half old, it's starting to stick. Um, at least I think that was the problem. And it wasn't kicking in the bypass when the guys were letting go of the trigger. And um, I have enough experience. I've been doing this for 15 years. You can tell the sound difference when you let go of your trigger. You can hear the unloader kick on and bypass the water. So what it does is it quits coming out your wand when you let go of the trigger and it bypasses it through this hose and ours dumps into our bulk tank. So it's constantly circulating. But when this doesn't work properly or isn't working properly, it doesn't bypass and you let go of the trigger, you can hear it, but the guys, they weren't experienced enough to know and they stayed out of the trigger long enough that pressure started to build up in the system and actually heard a really loud pop and then water started spraying out here. Um, and I posted a picture of that on Facebook and asked some questions. I knew it was some sort of safety thing. Um, I just didn't know what caused it because like I said, I've just changed this unloader like a month and a half ago, but um, it was really hot that day. So I don't know if, you know, I don't know what happened. We weren't running the heater though. So we are just using cold water. I'm gonna go ahead and change this unloader to be safe. But anyway, this burst disc, um, this is basically, the new one looks like that. Um, that material there pops or breaks at a certain PSI, like maybe four or 5,000 PSI and releases the water and releases the pressure, keeps your pump from getting destroyed. And there's what the one looks like that we blew. So those are a one-time use. Um, they're not cheap, they're 60 bucks. I got these from Pressure Tech, but it's a lot cheaper than replacing a $700 pump. So super easy to fix. Um, it's a half inch fitting. Take the old one out, Teflon tape, put the new one in. I had actually put a cap in here that I had in the toolbox. Uh, I don't recommend doing that at all. <laughs> I did it just to get by, to finish up a job we were on, on Friday. Um, but I was constantly in the trigger. So I, I never released the trigger, the wand, um, because I didn't want to destroy the pump. So um, I put that plug in there just to finish up the job and then had one of the guys turn the machine off while I was still squeezing the trigger. So um, we got it shut down. And now it's Saturday, and um, I just ordered these yesterday, and they're here already. So thanks, Bob, from Pressure Tech. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there uh, as a safety mechanism in case that happens again. That'll pop, and the water will come out, and it'll save from destroying the pump. So there you go.